I was shocked. I thought we were going to Brussels. <laughs> So last year I went to the Open Golf Championship in Sandwich, Kent. It's very lighted are there. There's a lot of famous faces. But there was a lot of buzz when I entered the media centre. Until I realised I wasn't Dave Grohl. <laughs> I had the competition at the Cavendish Arms. Didn't go through. It went okay. Top four out of ten were to go through. I did forget a line, not that that made a huge difference um disappointed to not get through i probably was about fifth or sixth best uh could have squeaked in and fourth but it's what it is the next night we were meant to have a gig at uh, the rose and crown just around the corner that gig went a lot better and was a lot more relaxed the other day uh, one of those charity workers tried to get my attention in the street and the way not to do it by yelling Hey, Tarzan! <laughs> and then I've had the most amazing Saturday. First, I went to the football exhibition at the Design Museum. That was a surprise. And then I had lunch at the Ivy, which was stunning. At which point, my fiancé decided to surprise me with one more thing. It wasn't even my birthday. And that was to go and see the mighty Westlife. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, so the last time I was here, I got joke of the night. <laughs> yeah, but I can't tell you it today. <laughs> I'd love to, but I, I'll just explain how it goes. So normally I come on stage, I sit on a stool, and then I change my keys, then I stand, and then I say, like Westlife. I only rise with a key change. Uh, but I can't do it because my girlfriend got herself locked out. <laughs> uh, I am glad I don't have to date anymore though. I was once on uh, the Eurostar and I spent the whole journey chatting up this beautiful girl. But yeah, it was only when we were pulling into Paris that she told me she had a boyfriend. Oh. I know, I was shocked. I thought we were going to Brussels. <laughs> It's not often you perform a gig at a sex dungeon. <laughs>